I just have not had a second to myself. I think this is like probably the hardest it's been, I think. Just, I don't know what to do with Lenny. Oh, what? I'm Elena and this is Zarelli. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. <laughs> Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. It's not so easy. Six o'clock in the morning, so I've been up all night. Um, I went to go and wake up Elena, but she and Lenny just looked very peaceful, so I just thought I'd let them go. It's it's currently blowing 2.5 knots, so we've just been motoring all night. The water, the water's got this glassy early morning look to it. Which uh, you don't get when there's more wind. So something prehistoric about it, about these the orange coming through these weird clouds with a oily, windless ocean floor. Very beautiful. listen to a lot of podcasts and audiobooks when we're sailing and um, yeah I've always got just one thing in my ear so that I can hear the boat and all the noises and stuff and I can hear if the wind picks up but it's just so good to be out here where there's no internet and I don't know you can just be really selfish and with your time and do all the things that you love to do. I really love to cook and eat healthy while I'm out here. I love to learn. Um, I love to play with Lenny. Not that I don't do that enough like when we're in range, but um, just not having internet or connecting or the ability to connect with anyone. It's a really nice feeling. You just kind of sit with yourself, I suppose. Holy crap! <laughs> what did I get to? 30 knots. I'm just worried about the Code Zero burn up. It's pretty tightly wound, but... Yeah, I wound the jeepers. <laughs> 9 knots, 25 knots up the chuff. It's a good time for editing. That is what I'm Safe doing. place somewhere in the woods we can start the fire. All we know is what will be our home. Hey, Bubba. Hey, thanks for being a good boy. We got a bit of a storm. It's pretty big on the radar. And we're probably about to get soaked. What do you think? <laughs> have to save our diesel because if we see something pop up like something crazy which is super unlikely but we need to save a bit of diesel in case there's no wind and there's like a hurricane or something crazy. <laughs> I'll say crazy again. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I wonder if we had have like jumped in the Gulf Stream that storm hadn't like existed where we'd be now. We'd be there by now. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in the middle of the bloody Atlantic, in the middle of nowhere, rain everywhere but still kind of fun. It's been an cozy. amazing trip though. It has, yeah, it really has. Lenny started being really yeah. affectionate, apart from when he's biting. And he's so grubby, we've got to cover him with a towel the whole time. You got prunes on ya. He's got prunes Peanut and spew and milk and bloody all sorts. The only bit of wildlife I've seen this whole trip. Come back. Oh! <laughs>
probably not supposed to. That's as fast as you've ever been. delicious you guys. Just really impressed myself. How many f***ing times I've had to do this. <laughs> Wind dropped to four knots, three knots, and gone from there which was bad to there which is impossible. I'm gonna add some really funny music for this whole scene. How do you do that? <laughs> Doing a couple 360s, mate. We've only got one engine on. Let's just go to Charleston. No. <laughs> Sick of it. Oh, f What? Oh, that lion's caught around the top. How did you do that? I oh, just flicked it off, mate. I've never seen someone be able to do that before. It was actually a fluke. I wasn't expecting it to come out. It's amazing. Now tighten that before it gets stuck here. Elena says the day. I was going to come up with good, like a really good superhero name, like call me something, but I couldn't think of it. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> What's that look for? I just told Lenny that that was the girl I fell in love with. Well, look at this, you guys. I'm seriously <laughs> going crazy. Like, since I first woke up, I've just been running around after Lenny, picking him up, putting him down, trying to breastfeed, but he keeps biting because he's got new teeth coming through. So that's really bugging him and he wants to be held all the time. And I just have not had a second to myself, like, except for now when I'm filming, talking to you guys. But wow. <laughs> I think this is like probably the hardest it's been, I think. Just, I don't know what to do with Lenny. He like, I pick him up and then he wants something else and then I put him down and he cries. It's like impossible. <laughs> People always said, wait till he starts moving around. And I was like, oh, how hard can it be? It is the hardest thing. <laughs> People who have more than, wow, don't bite. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't change anything. But I feel like I'm going crazy. You're driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just going around doing maintenance checks, so just eyeballing different parts of the boat and the steerage, there's just a little bit of give in the autopilot. It's not tight in there, so I put some little shims in there which were just uh, cable ties and hopefully that stiffens the whole thing up so that any power that we use is translated straight into steerage mm -hmm. and I, I think that that would be quite a bit because it was always moving just a little bit before it grabbed hold of the pin i can hear it the... when i was sleeping in this room right yeah right nothing like the old boat oh, da, like da, 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 da. 
the steering cables are quite loose, but I remember Stefan saying to me ages ago at Ultramur, saying everyone tightens them right up and then they snap. It's almost like they've locked the nuts in place so that you can't tighten it. Oh. So I could tie them together to tighten it up a bit, but I'll leave it with the autopilot for now and see what it sounds like and if there's any changes or anything. Um, and then I'll look at the steering again probably this afternoon with the cables. Going, Lenny. Good. This is the best spot in the house, hey. Like feeling the boat cut through the water and being up here, it just it really feels like you're I don't know, it just feels like you're moving. Yeah. More, hey. There's a sense of purpose up the front here. Yeah. Yeah. Like the job's getting done. Until you get a big splash and then you're like, that's why we don't sit here all day. What were you going to say about Lenny boy? He's just, he's just hey, grabbing full of knives. Like, the blades are on the other side and he can't pull them out. But he's just been bashing his head. He keeps falling on his face and he has busted the, this lip, this side of his lip, like three times in two days. Like, just from falling on his face. I just feel so <laughs> bad, but he... He know, doesn't care. And he like, he'll look up and if I'm smiling, like half He'll the time, smile and there's smiling. all blood there. We're nearly in the Gulf Stream. Do you think we'll make it to Montauk? I hope so. Me too. So this is what I've been dealing with this entire trip. Riley's obsessed with like designing catamarans. He's convinced he could design like the perfect cat. He just loves drawing them. And talking about him, <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm pretty ready to talk about something else. Can we talk about something other than catamaran now? Have you got it out of your system? No. It's good fun. It's been occupying a lot of my brain for the last, how many months would you say? Four months? Maybe you should be a cat designer on an old scummy notepad with a pen that's running out. Can you imagine what people would say if I sent it in? What do you reckon about this? <laughs> oh, pumpkin. Go, 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 go. You need some help? I can hold it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna grow my till I can see. I can't get one torch to work. Honestly, we've got, I've got six on board now. They just, this will work now, no doubt. <laughs> Every time I go to use one, it's broken. And they're pretty expensive, hey? That's 60 bucks. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the shaky footage. <laughs> <So> anyway. <laughs> you make it impossible. As I was asking before I was rudely interrupted by you, Lenny, <laughs> Is there, does anyone know of a reliable flashlight? What's the what best flashlight? We Please need tell one. Me. Riley's playing Blade Runner music. And it's really scary when you're on a boat, hey? I, I don't like it. I like it when we're like on anchor safe, but out here it's like anything could happen. Like <laughs> aliens. <laughs> Next time we finally see some serious wildlife. And we train the team for what will be our arrival on Long Island. You having a rum, Lenny? <laughs>